and welcome to what amounts to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine and the level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much and they also experience which have a great sense of privilege and uh, being able to attend this most special of games. This is one of the great theatres of the game. You are welcome to it and indeed to the grand speeches. What do you think this turns on, Jim? Yeah, Leonardo Bonucci. He's as imposing as they come, Peter. And he knows just how to use his, his physical attributes to make life difficult for attackers. He's also got a very good eye for a killer on ball, so don't be surprised if you see him launch a few counter-attacks for his team today. <laughs> I wonder whether that has anything to do with you being an offender once upon a time, Jim. Things have got on the way here pretty promptly. Dybala, Manolo Gabbiadini battles to win it back, Adrian Silva. Tonelli. De Ligt gets into the right position to intercept, Adrian Silva. Quadrado. Bentancur, Bentancur plays it forward. Quadrado, Rabiot, Bentancur, and here's the bar. Cristiano Ronaldo really got caught in a trap there and just couldn't get out. Done very well to intervene. That's a foul, no two ways about it. Footing. And now the breakaway. But no, that is pretty much the end of that. 
get the pass he's looking for. Bentancur. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? Chiesa. Good move up again here. Radio does want to read it and intercepts. Quadrado. Cristiano Ronaldo. And he's acting ball! He should have better, and he knows it. Paulo Dybala did give it a fair old crack, and he'll be encouraged to step up again. Adrian Silva. Tries to get it forward quickly. And that's the end of that. It all starts well enough. That's the ball. Goes looking. That's pretty clear. It is a foul. And he's going to have his leg taken. Tibala! And it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Defending of the desperate variety. He's come loose. Adrian Silva. And once more, they can't get through. Bentancur, Rabio, De Ligt, Pelucci, Rabio, Chiesa, Cristiano Ronaldo. Adrian Silva. Now it's Gabbiadini. Bentancur. Did he get half time? No, no, he didn't get half time. 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 Not the most convincing this way, but it's certainly doing a better this. A lot of people seem to build up the confidence and not much of the sense. And we're off again. Sampdoria need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by just the right amount of caution. I think the more experienced players can oversee that. Hoist it forward. Keeper's got good distance on that. Danilo. Rabio. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Bentancur, teams it out wide, Quadrado, all's loose, who's getting there? Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo, now it's Dybala, hit long and direct. Juventus have a free kick, well he knows very well that he is already walking a tightrope. That's the first attempt, Peter, we've seen of one of those breaking passes just to spread the play. And here's the bar. Quadrado. The referee has brought play back and it's only a yellow card. And it's Rabio. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Finds himself eased off the ball. And then he's there to cut it out. What are you thinking? Well, at the moment, their chances of getting back in contention looks slim. They're not exerting enough pressure. As simple as that. That's Cristiano Ronaldo. Chiesa. And Treva. Real chance to break. Juventus really are almost trying to pass the ball through a brick wall at the moment. You can see the sense of anxiety has, has now shifted to the stands. Oh, he's supposed to get himself offside. Bellucci. Bentancur. Dybala. Shakes the shots! In net! And with that goal comes comfort! Simplicity itself. Well, it's pretty damning on the part of that defence meeting that he was allowed so much time and space. But I think you have to give credit where it's due. And it was a brilliant set-up and finish. His second of the game, and an eye now for the hat-trick. Juventus have a couple of goals without reply. It's 2-0. Well, with this kind of authority, Peter, why not push on and, and totally kill this off? by a lack of accuracy. Bellucci. Forward it goes. Adrian Silva. Manolo Gabbiadini. He's off for the... It's Gabbiadini! 
He can get that clear. And it's Kandreva. Played down the flank. They didn't manage to get nearly enough into the box, and that speaks of little ambition. And it's played forward. Danilo. Dybala. Gets wrestled off the ball. That's surely a foul free kick. This has been an immense contribution for the player. He's been just a better player. Irresistible force today. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. Danilo. Gears up. Danilo. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but you couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. Uh, he a but he's playing innocent. He has every reason to. Tonelli really cannot believe it, but he is off, and they're going to have to find a way without him. That intervention was very necessary. Up to meet it! Oh, he won't beat it right. And he looks his watch and blows his whistle. And the storyline doesn't tell the whole story. They were outclassed in every possible way. All the sections of the gym. Sampdoria obviously hoping to the strength of the draw, but everyone could have made it. Let's reach that first time. They're game plan, is it? Thank you, Jim Beglin, for joining us, and to wish you a very good day.